We're asked to find the derivative of each function. Number one, we have f of x equals the square root of five. Well, the square root of five is just some irrational constant, and the derivative of any constant with respect to x is equal to zero, which indicates f prime of x is equal to zero when f of x equals the square root of five. Next, we have g of x equals the square root of x. To find the derivative, we'll have to write the square root of x using a rational exponent. Remember, in general, if we have the nth root of a to the m as a rational exponent, this would be a to the power of m divided by n. So as a rational exponent, we have the exponent m divided by the index n. So for the square root of x, the index is two for the square root, and under the square root we have x, which is x to the first. G of x is equal to x to the power of one half. So now that we have x raised to a power, we can apply the power rule to find the derivative. G prime of x is equal to one half times x to the power of one half minus one, which is equal to one half x to the power of negative one half. We can rewrite this using a positive exponent by moving x to the power of negative one half into the denominator with the two. We can also write this as one all over the product of two and x to the power of one half. Or we could also rewrite x to the one half as the square root of x. So we could write the derivative as one divided by the product of two and the square root of x. All these last three forms are correct but typically we do at least write the derivatives using positive exponents. And then if the original function is in radical form, it's also very common to rewrite the derivative in radical form when appropriate. Number three, we have f of x equals the cube root of x squared. Let's first rewrite this using a rational exponent. The cube root of x squared is equal to x to the power of two thirds. And now we can apply the power rule of differentiation to find the derivative, f prime of x, is equal to two-thirds times x to the power of two-thirds minus one, which gives us two-thirds x to the power of, well, two-thirds minus one is negative one-third. And now if we write this using a positive exponent, this is equivalent to two divided by the product of three and x to the power of one-third. And we can also rewrite x to the one-third as the cube root of x. So we could also write this as two divided by the product of three and the cube root of x. And for our last function, we have g of x equals two e to the fourth plus five divided by x squared minus six times the fourth root of x. Let's rewrite the second term using a negative exponent so we don't have a quotient. Five divided by x squared is equal to five times x to the power of negative two, we also need to write the fourth root of x using a rational exponent. So the given function g of x is equal to two e to the fourth plus five times x to the power of negative two, and we have minus six x to the power of one fourth. Remember the exponent on the x under the square root is one, giving us a rational exponent of one fourth. And now we can find the derivative of g of x more easily in this form. So g prime of x is equal to, the derivative of two e to the fourth is zero, since two e to the fourth is a constant, so we have zero. And then we have plus the derivative of five x to the power of negative two, which gives us five times negative two times x to the power of negative two minus one, We'll simplify the next step. And then we have minus six times the derivative of x to the power of one fourth, which is one fourth times x to the power of one fourth minus one. Let's begin simplifying. We have zero and then plus negative 10 or negative 10, x to the power of negative three. And then we have minus six times one fourth is equal to six fourths or three halves giving us three halves, x to the power of one fourth minus one is negative three fourths. This is the correct derivative, but notice how we are using negative exponents. Let's at least write this using positive exponents, which should be negative 10 divided by x to the third minus three divided by the product of two and x to the power of three fourths. 
Now, the only thing we might want to do is rewrite x to the power of 3 fourths in radical form. So let's also show that. This would be equivalent to negative 10 divided by x cubed minus 3 divided by the product of 2 and the fourth root of x cubed. Either of these last two forms would be the most common way to express g prime of x. I hope you found this helpful.